Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the next episode of my Let's Play Clash Royale series where, guys, we are going for the Legendary Arena on this account. As it stands, right now, I am one win away from the Legendary Arena at 2,970 trophies. We're going to get into that in just a second, but first, I'm going to show you a pair of replays I had on the way to the top. Now, as of right now, I did get my Sparky upgraded to level 2, if you guys saw the last video, and you can see it already paying dividends right there because of the fact that the Sparky had that extra HP. It survived two hits from the mini P.E.K.K.A. and it let my giant uh, beat down the tower while he had to waste a zap on my Sparky. Meanwhile, it looks like on the right hand lane, he tried to play his Ice Spirit to go alongside his minions. I'm going to be able to zap those down and already we've taken a pretty nice lead this game. And uh, he does have an elixir advantage, so I do have to keep that in mind. But so far, so good. One more sparky shot on that right-hand tower spells the end of that uh, side. Now, meanwhile, bottom left-hand side, we're going to play our elixir collector. Unfortunately, he is a princess, which is really annoying to deal with with this deck. But I'm going to go ahead and play a musketeer as my princess counter whenever he gets close to our side. Looks like Musketeer is going to meet her maker with the mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. And uh, this is where things are going to get pretty ugly. There's almost nothing I can do against this push. I'm just going to have to end up pretty much losing this tower. Mini P.E.K.K.A. and Miner are going absolutely ham. And he even plays an additional zap spell to help clean things up. So that was a little bit unfortunate, but it was really just a product of him having such a massive elixir lead in this battle. So instead, I'm going to have to get creative. I'm actually going to have to play a cannon to kill the princess, which just does not feel good at all. And uh, meanwhile, another Elixir Collector on the bottom left-hand side. So this is really tough here. At this point, I had to decide, do I want to go to the left-hand side? Because that's where I have a tower on my side, and my, my troops will be reasonably protected. Or I can go for the right-hand side and go for the tower that's already low on hit points. Now, I'm deciding to go for the left. First of all, what the heck was that, Princess? I'm deciding to go to the left just because I don't want to have to deal with him dropping troops straight on top of my Sparky if I deploy my troops down the right-hand lane. So instead, now we've got the Giant, the Musketeer, and the Sparky. We've got the minions as well. He hasn't cycled do a zap just yet so he doesn't have those to take care of my fire spirits fire spirits are actually going to end up taking out uh all the stuff he had right there my musketeers are going to shoot down the mini pekka both sparkies look at this double sparky madness they're going to lock onto the tower take the very first tower for us for the game and just like that we're right back in it and we have a big lead on his right hand tower now sensing his aggression he's going to go on a massive push I'll play my Fire Spirits to counter his Ice Spirit, but obviously that's not going to be able to do everything. My Musketeer is going to get blown up by the Mini P.E.K.K.A. He's just going on a full-on Zerg on this left-hand lane. But unfortunately for him, now that my King Tower is activated, I don't have to worry about his Miner. So at this point, we're pretty even as far as HP goes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a big push down this right-hand lane with the Giant in the very back. That should bode pretty well for us. His minions are going to start running down the lane, the Ice Spirits as well. And uh, they're actually going to jump in time to kill my... Um, yeah, kill my fire spirits. Now, I'm obviously not going to let this tower just die, so Musketeer and the Valkyrie are going to be able to clean things up. He's going to drop some minions. I've got my Sparky to help out right here. My Sparky actually will be protected by um, my fire spirits. And uh, now the Giant's going to get a single hit off against the tower. The Sparky's going to go ham on those goblins and the Princess. Another Giant in the very center to stop him from getting... Uh, a tower aggro onto my Sparky or my Musketeer. And because of that, Musketeer is going to lock onto the tower. Giant is as well. And with 10 seconds left in overtime, we're going to pick up a clutch two crown to one victory. And this put me at around 2,940 trophies on our way to the legendary arena. All right, so battle number two, this was the most recent battle I've done on this account. You can see this guy's running rocket inside of his deck, which is so annoying for my Sparky deck. Uh, it's one of the worst things to deal with because he can get some pretty good value off against my Elixir Collectors as well as my Sparky. So as soon as that Elixir Collectors goes down, he's going to end up playing a rocket right on top of my Sparky. So of course, I'm going to want to do something about it. And I decided to drop a Valkyrie uh, right in front of it. Now, obviously not the best move, but it's the only move I have because I don't have my Elixir Collector until right now. If I had my Elixir Collector earlier, I would have played it instead of my Valkyrie. Uh, but his princess, pretty good counter to my my low health uh, Sparky right there. It's going to end up taking it out. And here's where he deploys the major card in his hand. This guy's using the three Musketeers inside of his deck, which is actually a really hard card to deal with using the Sparky deck. I only have a couple of ways of killing it, either using a Sparky shot, which obviously would be extremely difficult, or I can use my Fire Spirits as well as my Zap. So I'm waiting for the min for the three Musketeers to lock onto my Giant. As soon as they do, I'm going to play the Musketeer. I'm going to play the Fire 
fire spirits and then follow up with the zap spell notice how i don't play the zap spell first because if i zap the three musketeers too quickly they're going to target onto my fire spirits and kill them so instead, just going to be able to use my fire spirits on them whenever they're locked onto the giants and then my zap spell to get that additional damage in. I need to clean up the job. I can also use my zap spell as well as my Valkyrie, um, but it's sort of difficult to do because the Valkyrie is such a crucial part of my offensive push as well as normally the three musketeers aren't going to make it to my side of the map. I'm going to have to end up fighting them when they're already sort of across the map. But anyways, Giant is going to go down. He obviously is playing his three musketeers again. I'm going to play my Sparky this time and uh, it turns out that he doesn't have a zap and I sort of started figuring it out by this point. So my Sparky is going to kill some of the Spark or the musketeers without much of a problem. Looks like my Giant, my Valkyrie as well as my musketeer and Sparky are just running down the lane. The fire spirits are going down as well but they're gonna get blasted by the princess as i assume they would level two sparky and the musketeer are gonna make short work of that uh of that valkyrie right there i think that was and now sparky musketeer locking onto the tower they're gonna get a shot off and that is going to be the very first tower of the game and things are boating pretty well looking into the rest of this battle he does have my tower on the right fairly low because he got a giant to it i believe uh, but now we're gonna make that sparky do that push he does have a rocket which made this play a little bit aggressive right here but the rocket will not end up killing uh, my elixir collector because it already died before that happened and here's where he's going to go on another push he's got the giant and the three musketeers i know if i can hold on and actually even just destroy this left hand lane um things are going to be looking really good but look at the tank and spank giant to tank the three musketeers as well as the, the fire spirit and the zap to kill them that was actually really really well played i gotta give myself a pat on the back right there uh, the tank and spank in the right hand lane killed the three musketeers meanwhile in the left we just dominated with a massive push that's gonna do it and a two crown to zero victory to put me on the precipice of the legendary arena look at that vocabulary right there two to zero let's go ahead and head back to my main account or i guess my yeah my main screen for this account where we're at 2970 guys one win could potentially put us in the legendary arena as a fairly new level eight. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it again. This giant Sparky deck been working wonders for me. I do have that uh, that magical chest opening up as well, which we can open inside of that next video. But let's go and hop into it right now where we're going to be facing off against Stevic from the Serbian elite. Now keep in mind, I'm at 2,970 trophies. If I can win 30 from this one, that'll put me in the legendary arena. No more, no less. Let's, let's go ahead and play the Elixir Collector on the bottom left, see what this guy has to play. And he's gonna start off with an Elixir Collector as well. Now that's actually really, really good for me. And you're probably wondering why. And that's because I don't have any defensive cards inside of my hand. I had the Sparky, the Fire Spirits, the Giant, and the Zap. When realistically, the three cards that I want are the Musketeer, the Cannon, and the Valkyrie. I had nothing to go against one of his massive pushes except for playing like a Sparky, which obviously isn't very good. And uh, he's actually gonna go for a pretty crazy push down this left-hand lane. All right, so it looks like he's gonna play the Barbarians and the Hog Rider. I'm gonna be able to take that out fairly easily of course my sparky is going to take massive damage from that giant skeleton it's actually going to have just enough to survive which will make him zap it down even though i think the tower would have killed would have killed it anyways but instead i'm going to use my elixir lead to build another elixir pump on the bottom right we did get a fair bit of damage in the right hand lane as well about 20 percent to that tower uh, so all in all not too bad of a trade and now we're starting to pump some crazy elixir as he tries to catch up now, still being a little bit scared about the rocket, I'm going to play the giant instead of the Sparky, um, just to give myself a little bit more time to see what he's going to play. Another giant skeleton down the right-hand lane, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to play my Sparky in a position to where there's no way he could possibly rocket both the Sparky and the Elixir Collector, and then I'm going to start pushing down this right-hand lane. His Hog Rider's going to come out, so I'm going to go ahead and kill that with my cannon. Valkyrie onto the Wizard, obviously, and take a look as the Sparky just blasts the Hog Rider in the bake, and that's really good for us, and now the Sparky can focus on the Giant Skeleton. Of course, Minion Horde's going to go crazy, and uh, we're going to have to deal with that as well, so I'll drop my Fire Spirits. Level 11 Minion Horde. It just is pretty ridiculous up here as far as the minion horde goes. Ice Spirit's going to look pretty creepy with its new animation running towards my tower. But again, we've slowly chipped down that right-hand tower and we've gained even more of an elixir lead. So I'm feeling pretty confident going in to this last minute that we should be able to get a sparky shot off against the tower. At least just get the giant to beat it down to where we're not going to have to deal with it. Now, the giant skeleton really hasn't been working for him by this point. Um, if I were him, I would place it when I've already crossed the map and maybe done it that way, but I'm going to go ahead and play 
uh, my Valkyrie to follow up on this giant skeleton, Fire Spirits, as well as my Zap Spell. You can't be too safe against the Minion Horde and save as much damage as possible. Meanwhile, Sparky's going to lock on to the Wizard and end up killing it. And uh, yeah, we're not going to end up getting too much out of that push. Another Musketeer Sparky push, though, from the very back. is going to get us set up for some success. Tower's going to be able to help out kill those Barbarians. We're only going to take maybe one hit on our tower, and unfortunately, it will reset my Sparky's charge. But here's where he makes a fatal mistake. That Elixir Collector on the top left was way too aggressive to where we can just go down this right-hand lane. We've got this, uh, we got the Giant beating down on the tower. We got the Sparky as well. The Zap spell is going to help against the minions, but unfortunately, we didn't get everything we want just because that minion horde ended up killing our Giant. I thought we were going to be able to end the game. What is this? Terrible cannon placement's going to absolutely put us in massive trouble against this Hog Rider right here. Tower's going to go down to 502. We've been playing this game so well, but one mistimed cannon which normally isn't a position to end up killing that hog rider ended up costing us right here so we really need to make a push right here giant skeleton bomb's gonna explode it's not gonna end up killing anything at all which means we have two sparkies a musketeer and a valkyrie going down the left hand lane another cannon to help out against the barbarians ice beards gonna try to defend but meanwhile down the right hand lane we finished it off how many trophies 30 trophies for the victory which guess what guys puts us at an even 3,000 to put us inside of the legendary arena. Stevic from the Serbian Elite gave us just enough. 3,000 trophies, baby. And taking a look at that beautiful elite scene, we have reached the legendary arena on my free-to-play Chief Pat 2 account. Feels good, man. Level eight and about one fourth on this account. Uh, level eight commons, level six rares, except for a level nine cannon, but obviously the Sparky being the big boost for me to help get me up there. And uh, yeah, it feels really, really good to hit this on my accounts. Uh, I've been playing this account for a while now. I've honestly been playing it a lot more over the last two to three months um, because of all the win trading at the top on my main account, which I used to play a lot more. But honestly, I play this account way more nowadays. And uh, we actually did get a special offer reward, which is really tempting. But since this is a free to play account, I feel like you guys would be pretty mad at me if I bought it. So I don't think I'm going to buy it. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about me buying the special offer reward? Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. 3000 trophies on my Chief Pad 2 account. If you guys been watching for the beginning or if you just started tuning in on this episode, big shout out to you guys for following and for all the support along the way. I'm going to keep pushing on this account just a bit, but honestly, I do love the challenge mode. So I'm probably going to post the next video of me going through another challenge. And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Legendary Arena, baby. Let's go. And uh, I'm a pretty excited chief right now. That is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.